going on, guys? Glad to be here. Ginger's Not Podcast. Doing what we do best, man. Doing what we do best, and that's a ball. Outrageous, right? No, uh, in all seriousness, I had to had to go ahead and put something together, some sort of material for you guys. And it's been a while since I've done the video version. You know, needed to do a video, had to get a video out there. And we have. That's what this is. Am I... <laughs> right anyways uh so yeah man i was thinking about starting this like uh, youtube channel based on the lack of customer service in anything that has to do with working with the customer i found uh people are really not good at this job people are not good at this job anymore i feel like there's just a huge lack within the world of customer service and that goes for every industry every industry that requires people to you know uh, work with the customer they're lacking or at least somebody is one person is lacking but then it, you have to question the people in charge and be like why have you not done anything to make this right why have you not fixed this why are you not making sure that there's a standard insanity man I actually had this uh, I went shopping this weekend not weekend this week excuse me and ended up uh, ended up in line behind these people it's an older couple and uh, as we get up there to check out just going up there to check out I'm, I'm just watching and the people in front of me are having a full-blown conversation <laughs> you know with the cashier and I'm like that's cool you know so I expected her to have some sort of a conversation with me when I got up there, or at least the regular stuff, the protocol, man, the stuff you expect there, you know, these people to say to you, like, uh, did you find everything okay? Uh, you know, uh, thank you for shopping here, whatever, whatever, uh, paper or plastic, I don't know, just any, uh, how, uh, hello, how's it going? Did you find everything okay? Would have been just fine. But I got none of that. Literally none of it. And it was uh, really alarming because this isn't like the first time where I've been at a place that is supposed to have, you would assume, would have elite customer service. Turns out not the case, man. Not the case in a lot of these places. And it's bizarre. What What's happening? How are you not able to acquire the right people with the right attitudes to ultimately be the last line of employment employees that you see in the place that makes sense the cashier is the last person that you see when you go to a store right i mean it's not as if you see uh i mean maybe the door guy sure maybe the door guy but that's it nobody else it's not a ridiculous it's not a ridiculous concept to hope that the people that are checking you out after buying your groceries or buying anything are nice people. They make you want to come back to that store. That's the whole idea. And that's the whole idea with any place, like I said, that has to do with customer service. You're trying to set it up to where that person will make a return visit. And if you're garbage at your job, why would I come back? It's insane. It's insane to think that it, people that it's still a thing for customer service to not be of high quality why are we still having to deal with these people these people that just come in with a snarky fucking attitude or the lack of simple uh courtesy you know i just spent 130 dollars at your store and you're not going to do anything to make sure that i come back and possibly do it again you're not even going to be nice enough to where i could recommend it to somebody else anything like that it goes hand in hand with all these places man like i said but I've experienced this more often than not. And believe me, when I went into this place, I didn't have my tattoos showing. I didn't. I had glasses on, my glasses on, things like that. You know, I was in there purchasing things, spent over $100, and you're still going to not even say thank you, have a nice day. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we where people are still allowed to be uncourteous, right? Not even going to uh I don't even know how uh, how to keep going about this. You know, it doesn't 
it doesn't even feel like a topic that should be spoke about anymore because you feel like they would have nipped this in the bud a long time ago. Meaning somebody along the way within customer service will be like, this is how we're going to do it. This is what customers expect. Yet for some reason they have the ability, maybe that's what it's for. Maybe that's what those people that stand at the door for. That's their actual job. They're the ones that make sure that they say, thank you, have a nice day, or welcome to Walmart, or whatever. These people that stand at the door as you come in, and they always greet you, and they typically will greet you as you leave. Maybe that's the actual thing. Maybe that's why they cut it out. They're like, okay, guys, cashiers, you don't have to be the last line of customer service. So that way, if you mess up your customer service, you're not good at what you do. We got that 97-year-old guy at the door to say thank you. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. Whatever. Maybe that's the – they found a loophole there somehow. Idiots, man. But still, it's like the only reason I really feel any type of way about this is simply because I worked a lot of years in customer service and all types of customer service. And I don't know. I feel like it's easy. It's like one of the easiest jobs out there just to act like you like somebody or you even like the job. It's easy to fake that. But yet we still run into these people that just are fucking awful. Like I, I guess it's not so bad in my mind when somebody at a store doesn't thank you for shopping there or whatever. As much as it annoys me when somebody at a restaurant doesn't say thank you or isn't cordial at all. That shit is annoying. And you're not asking them for anything extra. You're literally not. We're not asking you for anything extra right now, period. I'm literally just asking you for what is required of you through your job. Make me want to come back. Make me want to come back. Doesn't seem as difficult as they make it out to be, right? God, what do you say? What do you say? So my whole idea was starting a YouTube channel where I would purposely purposely go around to these places where I shop and, you know, get food and I would just record them, record you in the last few minutes of our interaction and that being me paying for my meal or me paying for my items. If that last part where I'm leaving your facility isn't you giving me a reason to come back, saying something that's logically going to make me come back because the customer service alone was totally worth it. You're going to be on camera being a failure. You're going to, I'm going to be like, yeah, I just want to film this last little part of uh, yeah, my day here at where Sears, whatever, and then just film myself as I go up to pay for the stuff. And maybe it's uh, it shouldn't even be my fault. It shouldn't be the customer's fault to not have some sort of interaction happen, dialogue happen between you and the person checking you out. It shouldn't be my responsibility. I shouldn't be the one to have to initiate some sort of a conversation. I shouldn't go up there to the register and go to check myself stuff out and be like, hey, how's your day going? How are you feeling? No, it should be the opposite way. I'm the customer. I'm giving you, you know, hard-earned money. You're doing your job, and your job requires customer service, which is just simple politeness, man. Being nice. Make me want to come back. That's the last thing I guess I want to say about that. So that's the that's the easiest way to kind of break it down. Like when I was a manager and I would teach these younger younger people how to treat customers, that's the basic concept is just make them feel like they they want to come back. Give them a reason to come back. And the easiest way to do that is simply be a nice person. Not hard. You're not asking anybody you're not asking these customer service workers to do anything that their job shouldn't already require, right?